CBS.com is where we're looking. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson, one uh, to Jacksonville, two uh, defensive end, another defensive end to uh, Detroit, three, a defensive lineman to Houston, four, a cornerback, five, an offensive lineman, and Carolina Panthers in the CBS poll has Kenny Pickett, God, why pick it? coming to the Carolina Panthers. I don't think they'll take Kenny. <clears throat> it they says Carolina it. tries to trade back but can't find any worthy suitors, so it selects the quarterback prospect best equipped to play in the NFL right away. There are a lot of connections between the Panthers, Brass, and Pickett, and I don't think uh, Coach Matt Rule is in a situation where he can survive uh, having to develop a high ceiling caliber like Malik Willis. I will be happy taking. Uh, the the stud offensive lineman if he's still sitting there. There's such a lot of factors for this. You got to remember, you got a coach who's trying to prove himself in the NFL for the first time. Um, he hasn't been able to attach himself to a good quality quarterback play so far. Uh, we talked about you know Sam. Best thing organizationally to me with the deal with Sam Darnold is to play another year with him. He's twenty what four, twenty five. He's not old <coughs> at all, and pick a tackle right here. I agree. But, that's, what, that's what I would want to do. But I, I, I don't agree. put another quarterback in. Uh, uh, please don't. <laughs> no, I mean, I sure. don't. Let's say you play. Let's say you play Darnold. You have another bad year. Next year, you know there'll be a good, decent draft. You'll have all your draft picks. You can move up if you need to with the capital you have. If you if you, if you take him now and you have a bust, you guys are set back for how many years? And we need a lineman. I mean, we really need. I a mean, lineman. Tom. Uh, uh, Tom, how do you so, so with the Baker Mayfield situation? How do you how do you assess like so you look at you're sitting there at Carolina at six, and I say if you pick Pickett, what's the value of whether it's a success or not? So the the Browns have Mayfield go through four years, and he has how many different offensive coordinators and coaches? He won the first playoff game in twenty something years, but then they get rid of him. So if this is a pick just to get rid of a quarterback in four years, Zach, I say it's terrible to pick quarterback yep. that high that you don't know for sure. I mean, we get, the Browns had him for four, mm -hmm. and they picked a quarterback that high. So if you don't think Pickett, you don't know if he's going to make it two or three, or not for sure. I don't see. I don't know why you would, other than picking somebody solid like a quarterback. And, and Tom, how would you feel like in that same situation as far as they are? They are. Would you risk without a second round pick sitting there picking a quarterback like that? No, I like I like the early picks of D linemen and, and offensive linemen, especially if I you're agree. kind of in that situation where. You're, you know, unless it's a home run, unless mm -hmm. you know this guy is going to be the next stud in the NFL, and Kenny Pickett, you know, they got the hand size mm -hmm. issue, and okay, he played at Pittsburgh, you know, uh, I don't, I don't know, I, I, I don't know if he's going to be a, a legit perennial yeah. NFL starter. He might be, you know, I'm not going to say he's not. He's going to be a bust, but it's not a sure thing. So, if I'm going to take a QB at six, he's going to be. It's going to be a sure thing, you know. Uh, edge rushers can't have enough of them. Offensive linemen, you know, if you can get a guy, it kind of tells you the that that's how you have to neutralize the other team anyway. I mean, you have to have pass rushers, you know, and you have to have offensive linemen to counter those pass rushers. So I, I like the teams that are thinking about linemen as opposed to ah, this guy. He might be good, but he might not. I don't know. I think people get too enamored with quarterbacks, and then look at Zach Wilson. I don't know. Is he going to make? I don't know. He might. Darnold was a high pick. Baker was a high pick. And four years later, you're in the same situation you were. Don't don't forget that Darnold started 3-0 and this past year, and that's what people keep forgetting. And I would say they've went out and did their defense, and now you go offensive lineman. Pickett, it to me, if you grab Pickett, go ahead and get rid of Darnold because you don't need him. That's what you're telling him, you know, so – yeah, I mean, but what's the what, what what's the market the, for Donald? Right, but what happened to the days of being able to kick? Uh, it's like, it, what happened to the days of being able to keep two quality quarterbacks? Like, why would you have to get rid They're of They're too that? expensive. Yeah, they are. Well, well, this would be a good backup if that's not, what you're after, so look, but he's going to have to learn. Uh, so if you're if you're paying, how much are they paying to Sean Watson? 40? Too much. So if they pay, if a quarterback costs, Dak, if a quarterback costs $40 million, but so they're paying Darnold 22 and then Baker owed 18. Well, for those two, you're right at. That's why I said you're right I wouldn't mind okay. getting you You're right in the two, whole. You got two, but one of them doesn't see the field. Right. But what I'm saying is that you're right in the same. You still have that allotted money in your cap for that position for the most part. What like, I'm saying. It, well, why not take a chance on. That's the same thing as why wouldn't Jacksonville take a chance on Baker and these other teams that have younger quarterbacks. I would rather have two guys at that low position that we don't know yet. 
hey, 22, 24 years old. Do we know Sam Darnold's really not any good at 24? Or you or Baker's to, not any good right now at 24? Or you can use that money My, on your offensive line. Or Well, you can, you right. Know. I was going to say, if you guys remember the, uh, uh, the Cleveland draft, uh, when they drafted Joe Thomas, they could have said, oh, we want the quarterback and went with Brady. We got Brady Quinn, but they could have yeah. drafted him up at, at that position and not got Joe Thomas. And how many years did they get out of Joe Thomas? Yeah, Hall of Famer. I would rather mm-hmm. have Joe Thomas than He's take a, a shot at Malik. Joe, Tom, Qu- Joe yeah. Thomas is a quitter. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Him oh, and Barry God. Sanders and all the rest of them. He Jeez. didn't miss a start for so oh, long. Was... He had some injury problems. It was time. He he play, How many years did he play? 13? I think it was nine. No. He like played no, four, 07. He, he came in an 07 draft, <laughs> four but years. I don't know how long. You know, he's Might been out been for about. Out. He's been out. He played 12 hey. or 13. Yeah. All right. He says, all right, this is what. This is the NFL.com, what they would advise teams to do. I would advise, this is for the Panthers. I would advise you not to take a quarterback. I have a feeling that you're not going to listen to me, though. I'm glad that you, I don't know who's writing this story. I'm glad you didn't take Justin Fields last year, but I feel like you won't pass on a position here, on the position here. And since you probably won't want quarterback, should you take at number six? Some might like Kenny Pickett a little a bit better. That's fine. I'm not over enthused with him, but I like Malik better of the two. I was thrilled by his. Pro day, and I'm kind of hooked on it. Thrill by his pro day. All we talk about is a kid throwing 70 yards. <laughs> you got to give a receiver seven or eight seconds to get down there to in, even in, get in to the per, it. In the perfect. That uh, happens, what, once a game? That's what I'm saying. In the perfect environment. <laughs> God. <laughs> Honestly, I get so as, tired of hearing that. Or again, as far as someone who actually play, you know, play in the position, I value accuracy way more than anything. But you have to be able to throw the, the – you have to be able to throw the – 30 to 40, 30 yard yeah. out. Yeah. 30, 30 yard out. In that range, that's where you got to be With some consistent. heat on it. Right. 20 to 40 yards, throw a little heat on it. If you, That's where you need that. If you can't do that, then, then you know, that's what I'm worried about with Piggy. Can he throw that, that 30 yards on, on, the, on the little out, out pattern where the safeties have time to get under it? And the question that's always, the issue to, is, is what you can throw with the defense back there. The question always comes back, do you want Drew Brees or Jeff George? Oh, yeah, Drew Brees, obviously. I right, want the guy that completes every pass. I, 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 yeah, you got Jeff George. Jeff George, you, call, you never knew what was going to happen. If you call a pass, <laughs> here's my point on the accuracy <laughs> thing. made it kind of fun. Or always has always been on the accuracy, accuracy thing. If I call a pass play, the object of the pass play is to what, Terry? To complete the pass? Yeah. So if you complete three out of four and the other guy completes two out of four, well, obviously I want you better because I the more pass plays, I can call more pass plays. Same thing with a running play. The more you want more runs than not going over three yards, right? So you, if you're running and the you're getting less than fifty percent of your runs, less than three yards, you're like, hey, I might need to pass it now. But I, I just it, I, it just blows my mind. This dude goes out here on his pro day, throws seventy yard, and he went from being way back all of a sudden at the front. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong; well, it's, it's great. Just, I'm glad you can do that. They get but net. again, it's seven or eight seconds with you running everywhere to get open in the backfield I, to throw it. That I far. think the problem with this Terry is that again, for the start of the year, we didn't have we don't have a this we don't have a number one overall quarterback, so we don't have nobody to to, to phone over. Yeah, I understand. So right now, and I told you once this process starts, and like Zach just mentioned, he saw one the, uh, a little while ago where it's all the quarterbacks have jumped up. They're going to slowly start creeping and creeping, and these teams are going to panic. And they're going to pick one. Somebody's going to, I'm going to, they might be gone before the Panthers even pick. There's another, like how often do you see no quarterbacks pick till six? And there's another factor in all this, too, that goes back to that, uh, that, that, that rookie scale for the quarterback and how, you know, they're trying to set up teams now to have a, uh, you're not paying your quarterback a lot of money. Now, uh, and now Willis was, the rest of the team. Willis started at Auburn for some of those folks that might not know. Uh, last season at Liberty, he had 20 touchdowns, six picks. This year, 27 touchdowns, 12 picks. Um, twenty eight hundred yards. That's, liberty, that's what 60, I keep saying. Sixty five percent. The good thing about it though is, if he was an Auburn, he he he, you know, got if he was an Auburn guy, then he was high rated coming out of high school. But he wasn't good enough to start, so I'm right, losing. Right. Well, you look at like even Pickett in the ACC, the defenses just aren't what they are in the SEC. You know, so how how good is he? You know, I I don't know. Well, I, so, well, I have well, not we'll seen see. the guy. Actually, I have not seen him play. Pickett. Willis. Oh, Willis. I think I've seen him once. I think I watched. Don't they play Coastal? Mm-hmm. I we think played I watched State last Coastal, year, yeah. year before last. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not taking him at six. I, I still go about, you know, with Pickett, uh, with the ball uh, changing going up, I, 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 you would think that would be a humongous. Panthers, this is what you need to do. You need to trade the sixth pick to Cleveland for Baker. 
<laughs> and y'all send along two offensive tackles. No, just straight up. <laughs> Give us the six pick for Baker. Your quarterback situation solved. Let's go. All right. We'll do the true question of the day for you guys on the, at the table. Mm. Uh, which, uh, Zach can see my, my. I can't see that far. Which school have the most. Oh, I can see them. Which quarterback have the most different quarterbacks that has won a Super Bowl? Two schools have had three quarterbacks win a Super Bowl. Can you name those two schools? Two schools have had three quarterbacks win the Super Bowl. Yes. Which two schools, which two colleges have had three quarterbacks win the Super Bowl? Well, as much as I hate to say it, I'd have to think Michigan because Tom Brady. Wrong. He's the only one that's ever done it. Really? Hmm. Yep. I'm going to name you all the ones with one, and then you can narrow some of that down and think. Wisconsin, West Virginia, Washington State, UCLA, Tennessee, Southern Miss, Ole Miss, Northern Iowa, Navy, Michigan, Miami University of Ohio, Louisville, Louisiana Tech, Grambling, Fresno State, Florida State, Delaware, California, Arizona. Those schools have had one super, one quarterback win the Super Bowl. Now, you make fun of Liberty. Weren't they like 13 and about undefeated when he was quarterbacking with them every year? And was, uh, some of those schools aren't exactly, you know, powerhouses there. Joe now, Flacco lost to Ar- 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 Armani. If you look up who has the most uh, uh, Super Bowl wins. Trent Dilfer went to Fresno State and then completed 45% in a Super Bowl victory season. <laughs> so Tom Brady by himself for Michigan's got more. Uh, than the rest of them combined. Stanford, Notre Dame, and BYU have two quarterbacks each. (coughs) Stanford with Jim Pluckett and John Elway. Notre Dame with Joe Montana and Joe Theismann. Mm. BYU, the Mormons, Tom, have run out two quarterback winning Super Bowl champions. McMahon and uh, uh, Young. Steve Young and Jim McMahon. All right, guys, which schools have produced three Super Bowl winning quarterbacks. I've given you every Super Bowl winning quarterback except six quarterbacks. Who who got left out? Two schools have three Super Bowl winners each. I gave you every Super Bowl winning quarterback. LSU? No. They got yeah. They got none. Louisiana Tech. I thought Terry Bradshaw went to LSU. He went Louisiana Tech. Oh, okay. That's why I said Louisiana Tech's got four more Super Bowls than LSU does. Wow. <laughs> Think about that one. Yeah. As far as quarterbacks, of course, they got more players. All right, wrap it up. Do y'all have any guesses? A complete silence over here. I don't know. That was a lot, a lot of information. Yeah. Terry, what? who's the greatest quarter? Uh, who's the best uh, football program in America? Alabama. Yes. Joe Namath. That's one of them. And let's give him a hint on number two. Wait, uh, hold on, hold on. Who's the other two quarterbacks for Alabama? Come on, these are all old ones. Y'all know these. Bart Starr. Did I say Bart Starr went to Alabama? What and and the snake. Kenny Stabler. Kenny Stabler. All right, Zach, wow. did you talk about the other school? I was going to say, say for a hint. I couldn't think of anybody in my head I could think that went to this school for, for football for some reason. I got I got a, I got a but, hint. But the hint I was going to do was a basketball hint. No, I was going uh, to give where this. Does, where, does, where did Glenn Big Dog Robinson no, no, play? No, no, basketball? no, no. That's not a good hint. You just can't name a, just name a school. Purdue. Here's a hint. Yeah, yes, damn it, Zach. That was terrible. <laughs> I was gonna. Here's what I was gonna Drew say: All three of these quarterbacks were um, not their the teams that they were actually kicked out at some point. What Drew do you mean? Brees, Bob Greasy, and Lynn Dawson. You talking about kicked out from their team in the NFL? Originally, at some point, they, they, yeah, they, with these Brees's arm, and they weren't these see, seen as like the greatest quarterbacks ever. Lynn Dawson, Bob uh, Bob Greasy, and Drew Brees. So Purdue, the Big Ten, there. Has the most Super Bowls. Figure he's going to say no Ohio State quarterback has ever won the Super Bowl. <laughs> they didn't even throw that, that in that there. Is, well, we already knew. Between that and North Carolina, you knew that wasn't on the list. All right. Uh, I did final note for you Charlotte soccer fans and all your little fit, fun you had the other night. Um, they showed up 71,000. They set a record in, in MLS to fill up Panther Stadium. The score, Terry, you know what the score was? One to nothing. Yeah. <coughs> 71,000 people 
Saw one goal. Spent oh, hundreds of dollars. Mm. Hours mm. upon hours. There's a lot of fans. To stand in a stadium and watch one goal get scored. And them yelling for 90 minutes. Right. I, you can't. <laughs> Not enough remember, scoring for a 83% of that time, the best player on the field is walking. Yeah. So they went to watch one to nothing for 17% of the time. Now, with that said, that was 71,000 people. Have you seen the attendance since then? <laughs> they don't they don't even open up the open deck now. It's all in the lower bowl. That's okay. okay. Well, it dropped to- it dropped to average in 30 now. Yeah, if they get 30,000 people, that's still a lot for us. But somewhere. what I'm saying is that you had 70,000 people. It come was out the first game. I know, Tom, but here, here's the problem with the sport. Again, you had a chance to impress 70,000 people. And you walk out there and do nothing. There, I guarantee twenty thousand. I guarantee you. Yeah, I, do you think the ten thousand yeah. rednecks went home and Tom, went? Tom, I cannot. We saw a great that. defense tonight, boys. Do you think that's what the, mm. those forty thousand that didn't show up the next game said? Do you really think rednecks went to? They season? lost forty thousand fans the next, the next, just the rest of the season. You said redneck. Who, who, what redneck 40. is going to watch a soccer? Exactly. I'm just glad they here, sell beverages. Here, exactly. here, here's the. Uh, same headline, same headline, headline of the. Where's day. he? Where's he supposed to go? Uh, second, second round. Uh, uh, CBS making the case for Sam Howe to be the first quarterback off the board. Jeez, he's got a Tar Heel helmet on. That's just stupid. Carolina, give us your six for Baker. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're laughing. If you say that at the first Come of the on. year, there's a Come chance. On. There's a chance of the first year. Yeah. Now think about it. Hey, the guy without 22 <laughs> sexual assault allegations and won a playoff game last year over Ben Roethlisberger can't be traded, but the other one gets the only guaranteed contract ever... in NFL history. But can you tell me why everybody's telling him to be quiet? I don't know. Who's telling him to be quiet, Tom? Because he's got <laughs> he's a, he's got a reputation as a crier. He's got a co- reputation as a locker room cancer, so that's why he needs to be quiet. I don't know if it's true. I've not been in the locker room. Mm. But I do find it interesting that nobody on the Browns roster came back and, you know, with a free Baker t shirt. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that just kind of. All right, JB, you know. play us away. We've got uh, Braves baseball all this week. No high school baseball unless the uh, Cherville or the Cleveland County teams want to, uh, when they, they get to the championship game of the Eastern tournament. And it does not interfere with some Braves baseball. Uh, listen to Braves Baseball with WHS 101.5 FM 1390 AM, WCSL 1590 AM 92.9 FM, and also NASCAR racing this weekend, folks. Bristol Dirt on KTCBroadcasting.com. Family owned and operated, proudly serving Shelby and the surrounding area with the finest in heating and cooling for your home or business. We're talking about Shelby Heating and Air, and right now they have an